सिमिलर टू फैक्टर रेटिंग मेथड बट इट इज मोर सिस्टमैटिक एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ मोर मैथामेटिकल सो इट इज ऑल्सो मल्टी क्राइटेरिया डिसीजन मेकिंग टूल एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन पेयर वाइज कंपेरिजन इट रिलाईज ऑन द जजमेंट ऑफ एक्सपर्ट टू डिराइव प्रायोरिटी स्किल सो इट हैज एट इज थ्री लेवल ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग first we have goals then we have criteria and finally we have alternatives and sometimes we we can have uh, sub criteria as well so what we do is first we we define the goal and then we define the criteria and finally we have some alternatives so we compare alternatives versus alternate so we, we compare alternatives with alternatives based on each criteria so let's suppose we have five criteria and let's suppose we have three alternatives so we will compare these three for example a with b a with c and b with c with respect to each of these five criteria uh, criteria so we will get a matrix so we call it say matrix one we also compare criteria with criteria so for example we will compare criterion 1 with criterion 2 criterion 1 with criterion 3 1 with 4 1 with 5 and so on and we get another matrix so let's call it matrix 2 and we multiply these two matrices to ultimately find which alternative is the best so what we are getting from matrix 1 is actually we are getting which alternative is the best with respect to each factor so we will get ranking separately for each alternatives for each criterion in matrix 2 we are actually getting the information which criterion is more important than than the other so in factor rating we assigned uh, ratings based on some judgment and experience and brainstorming but here we will do that based on pair wise uh, pair wise uh, comparisons so we will get these two pieces of information which alternative is best is best with respect to each criterion and what is the relative weight of of the criteria with respect to each and finally we will get the final uh, values that will tell us which alternative is the best as a whole with respect to all criteria or factor so we will solve this uh, we will uh, we will learn to solve uh, this problem that is facility location problem using ahp with the help of uh, excel so i would recommend you to solve along with me so our goal here is to select best facility location and we have arbitrarily identified uh, four factors so for example land cost distance from plant distance from retail and wage rate are the factors or criteria that we have identified so this also seem to be sort of finding the position of a maybe distribution center so first matrix uh, that we are going to form is of criteria versus criteria so in the rows are the criteria and in the columns are the criteria and we have assigned some weights so again these weights can come uh, using brainstorming or using say delphi method uh, but we have assigned uh, the weights on a five point scale for example how will how will we read it so land cost is say 
twice as important as distance from plant. So we have assigned a weight of of two. So this two is showing. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is a ordinal scale. So actually, it doesn't mean that land cost is two times as important than distance from plant. But just to give you an idea that land cost is more important than distance from plant. Similarly, this score three is showing, for example, that land cost is more important than the wage rate and sort of three times more important. And in the diagonal in this matrix, uh, you will get uh, the value one. So diagonal will, will always be one in the matrices uh, that we'll be forming using, uh, using the AHP method. So diagonal will be will be one, and uh, uh, you can think why it will be why it will be one. The reason is that in the diagonal you are comparing uh, that factor with itself, right? So that is why the diagonal will be will always be one. So sorry, these values will be will always be one. So for example, this one is actually the comparison of land cost with itself. This one is the comparison of a distance from plant with itself and so on. So diagonal will be one. Secondly, the values above diagonal and below the diagonal will be uh, reciprocal. For example, here the comparison of land cost and distance from plant was two. So distance from plant and land cost will be one. Right? So land cost and distance from retail gave us a value of two. So distance from retail and land cost cell will be one over two. And similarly, this value, this one was three, land cost as compared to wage rate. So wage rate as compared to land cost will be one over three. So you have actually to fill just the values above the diagonal and corresponding cells below the diagonal will be just one over that value. So this was just to give you an idea how this, uh, these matrices have to be fit. So first matrix is, the matrix of criteria versus criteria. So we get first normalized matrix and then we, we get the weights of uh, the factors in that matrix. So how we will do that is actually, we will simply divide each value with the sum of the values in that column. So in this case, uh, this uh, value C7 will be divided by the sum of the values uh, in, in this first column. So we will fix the cells so, so that we, we don't have to repeat this process for each cell in the column. So we will drag and we will get these values for and you can very easily see that some of these value is, is one. So you can repeat the same process for, for second column. So first value divided by the sum of the values in that column. Fix the cells in that column and then let me correct it this way you can find the values in the second cell second column by just dragging and just as a cross check, the sum should be uh, one. Uh, so it's not exactly one because we are rounding off to the second decimal, but it is 0.99. Uh, that is approximately equal to one. So you can use the same procedure for the third column. So value in the first cell divided by sum of the values in that column. fix the cells of that column 
and you can continue with the you can drag it and then you can continue with the fourth that is the that is the normalized matrix so why we are calling it normalized matrix because we have sort of converted these values to a, to a sum of one so we can make a better interpretation now how we can find the weights you have to simply take row average and these are the weights so these are the weights of each criterion or each factor actually out of one so we can very easily see that land cost is the most important factor it has the highest score the second uh, most important factor is distance from retail so that has a score of point uh, two five then distance from plant has a score of point two two and finally uh, perhaps the least important is the wage rate so that is the first uh, matrix actually that we have found that is we have found the relative score of of different factors now we will continue with the same logic and here we will have a series of pairwise comparisons because we have uh, four factors and three locations. So we will compare the three locations with, with respect to each factor. So first, for example, we will compare the three locations with respect to land cost, then with respect to distance from retail, then with respect to distance from plant, and finally based on wages. But the procedure is the same. So first we will compare these three sites based on, on the land cost. So first value divided by sum of the values uh, in that uh, column and simply we will drag and of course you can you can drag on the right side as well to to find the you can do the second value So we can take the average and here we have actually found uh, the relative score of each side with respect to uh, the first factor that was the land cost. So we can see that site one is ideal with respect to land cost. It has the highest score than site two and site three is the worst option with respect to, with respect to land cost. So we can continue in the same manner to compare these three sites with respect to uh, the rest of the uh, three uh, factors. So following the same procedure, uh, we have found the uh, weights for three sides with respect to other three factors as well. So we can see that uh, with respect to distance from plant, uh, side three 
is the best option. Then side two, and finally side one. The side one is the worst option. So this is just the opposite, as we saw for criteria one that was the land cost. So cost was the sort of least for site one. So that was, that is why it was the best option. But with respect to distance, it is the worst option. So it seems to be a, a location that is, of course, far from the plant in an area that has a cheap uh, uh, cheap land available. So similarly, for the third factor, we have found uh, site two be two to be the best. And with respect to the last factor, that is wage rate. Uh, the site one is the best option. So it seems that. Site one is in some rural areas, far flung areas. So land cost is less as well as the labor cost is less as compared to other options. And again, the sum of these values should be equal to one. So sum of these three is one, sum of three, these three should be one, these three, and so on. So that is a check as well to, to, to see whether your calculations are correct or not. So we got this one matrix and we need yet another matrix to find the final score. So the second matrix will come from these values of comparison of three sites with respect to each factor. So first we have the column for land cost. Then we have for distance from plant. We will simply multiply these two matrices to find the final score. Okay, so what is the condition of multiplication of two matrices? I hope you recall that uh, the, the columns in the first matrix, number of columns should be equal to the number of rows in the uh, second matrix. So we will multiply these two matrices so we will use the function MMULT matrix multiplication. This will be our first array, first uh, row of the first. Second, that was <clears throat> criteria versus criteria. So you can fix the cells or use the same, same function again. So the third row multiplied by this matrix. So these are our final scores. So you can see that as a whole, the site one has a score of uh, 0.38, site 2.32, and the site 3.29, and site one appears to be the it appears to be the best site. And you can again cross check that some of these three scores should be equal to one. So that is exactly one. So as a whole, our site one is the best option. So you can see criteria versus criteria. So uh, scores were different in one criteria and site one was better in another site two and yet another site three. But as a whole, site one is the best option. So I hope it is clear how to use AHP to, to decide the and to, to select actually a solitary location out of the available options. So we had two matrices, one told us about, uh, about which factor was most important, then the score of each side with respect to each factor. 
So we had four vectors. So we, we got uh, four vectors. Using these four vectors, we found another matrix, multiplied uh, the two to find the final score. So if you have any question, you can ask.